While standing directly in front of one of five elevators at work, I was asked, what makes you think it's going to be that one? To which I responded very seriously, I always know. Right as the doors opened and made me look like some sort of wizard. What are your best? That's right, I'm a Jedi moments. I dodged a paintball once, Matrix style. Leaned back as I saw it coming, and it flew gracefully over my head. Then I got shot in the balls. But for a third of a second I was God. I was in 9th grade, and I had just gotten a digital watch. I spent an unhealthy amount of time making sure that my watch was perfectly synced to the school's clock, which was displayed on the classroom's television mounted in the corner. Since that clock didn't show the seconds, I would sit there, watch in hand, waiting for the moment the minute number jumped forward. When it did, I would immediately alter the time on my watch as well. So one day during English class, we were talking about when do we get out of class. I don't know why, but the discussion got kind of heated, for such a stupid subject. One kid was adamantly insisting that we wouldn't get out for at least two minutes, but I know, from glancing at my watch, that we were going to get out in 12 seconds. I told him that, and he just scoffed. So I started counting down. 5. He just laughed at me. 4. People stopped talking and looked at me. 3. Students started rotating in their seats to look at the time. 2. I started to get nervous. What if I was wrong? 1. Silence within the area we were sitting in. Butterflies in my stomach. The kid's expression suddenly turning nervous. And then a half second of time when I started panicking about being wrong and never living this down. When the bell rang. The best one I've ever seen was done by my dad. Mom, dad, and I are standing in the kitchen having a conversation. Dad casually reaches up and pulls a plate out of the cabinet, not in any hurry. Turns to me, finishes a sentence, then reaches out into midair over the toaster completely unprompted. Toast pops up. Dad snatches the toast out of midair, takes the most satisfied bite I've ever seen, and strolls off like a champ. I was sitting in my brother's apartment, and this big fly came buzzing into the room. He said, that ducking fly has been driving me crazy for two days. Before he had even finished saying it, I reached out into the air and grabbed the fly. Then without saying a word, walked over to the window and let it go outside, then sat back down and continued the conversation. One of my friends had just started dating one of the cool car dudes at my high school. Me being more of a lame nerd girl, I had a bit of a hard time fitting in with this new crowd, especially since my knowledge about cars was very sparse. Well, one evening, as a big group of car dudes and a few of my girl buddies met up, I felt utterly malpaced. One of the boys starts telling a tale of woe about a part for his engine, no idea which, so don't ask, that had gone missing, and judging of the solemn mood of his crew, it nearly felt like a relative had died. Suddenly one of my friends pipe up, Vera can find it, she does that, she's totally magic. All eyes on me. What she was speaking of was my little parlor trick, a knack of guessing where people put their stuff based on what I know about them. Absolutely not magical, but a fun trick that I thought would stay between us girls only. I am probably 50 shades of whooped ass in the face when I figure I should just go for it, nothing could really go bad. They couldn't ignore me more than they already did. During the evening, I had observed that this guy was clumsy, slightly dazed and preoccupied. He had dropped at least three things on the floor in just a couple of hours, and he'd forgotten to buy snacks, and he always asked, huh? After someone spoke to him. You tossed it out. It's in a garbage bag near where you work on your car, I said with more confidence than I felt. As it was his house, he left to go to the garage came back holding a bag. Black garbage bag. And I shit you not. It was there. The whole room owed, and ard, and. No, I didn't get off with the hottest bloke there, or I suddenly became less nerdy. But after that they didn't ignore me. To them, I was cool. And I didn't mind letting them think I was magic, because to be honest, I ducking felt magic. TLER, a story in which I Sherlock some cool car dudes. When I'm too lazy to get up to get something, I'll just say the force will get it for me, and be annoying about it. 
eventually a friend will just bring it to me, to which I reply, the force has a strong effect on the weak minded. My wife and I have an informal pact that goes, if I'm sitting down and I squint and make the Jedi telekinesis hand at something you are walking past, you must pick it up and make it float over to my hand without acknowledging you had any role in said process. I dropped a beer bottle once at a party and caught it with my foot, without spilling a drop. It was completely on reflex, and I know for a fact I couldn't do it now if I tried. But for the rest of the night I got accused of being a ninja, and it felt pretty awesome. I did this with a glass of water that was about two thirds full. Unfortunately, I was more true to my ninja origins, in that no one saw me do it. Outside on break at work when it started to thunderstorm. The woman I was talking to asked why it had to storm now. I jokingly said it was all my doing, and snapped my fingers immediately followed by bright lightning and really loud thunder. I thought she was going to shit herself. I went to instant message one of my friends, and for some reason decided to start the conversation with, that's what she said, completely out of the blue. Apparently he was typing a complaint about his work to me at the same time. So literally less than a second after I hit enter, my friend sent, man this is so hard. For about 6 lines after that, I kept writing random lines, and they all worked. It was something like, me, that's what she said. Him, man this is so hard. Me, because I'm a wizard. Him, how did you do that? Me, creepily awesome. Him, okay that's creepy. Him, what the duck, logs off. It only ever happened once, but once was enough. Sometimes I pick up the phone and fix problems instantly. Example, hello CIT service desk, how may I help? Oh, hi there, I was, oh, sorry, what's the issue? Oh, don't worry it works. Okay, thanks. Just posted this story a couple of weeks ago, but what the hell. It's a good story. One time I had a girl in my car that I really liked and wanted to impress. Now, this was in the late 1980s when CD players in cars were really new. I had a custom installation that worked pretty well, but it had some flaws. In particular, I had to hit the play button whenever I turned on the car. Then the amp wouldn't kick in for about 30 seconds, for some reason. So I was in the habit of hitting the play button ASAP as I turned on the car, so the tunes would start up. So we get in my car, a Mustang convertible, at the time. And as usual, I hit the play button as soon as I started the car. But having done this literally hundreds of times, I was very fast and fluid at it, and the girl didn't even notice that I had done it. So we pull away, driving down Pacific Coast Highway in Southern California along the ocean, as I recall. So the girl says, hey, how about some music? I knew the amp was just about to kick in. So without even glancing at her, I snapped my fingers in front of the CD player. The timing was perfect. The music immediately started up. My expression never changed, like I expect magic things to happen at the snap of my fingers all the time. She just stared at the CD player, stared at me, then just shook her head with a little laugh. I felt like the smoothest king of the smooth people. Once I was hanging out with at a friend's house, imbibing drugs and alcohol and enjoying the subtle nuance of Guitar Hero. A reasonable sized group of us were there that night. I was wailing away at the drive-ins one armed scissor, my friend Rocky on bass, when I asked my twin sister, who was somewhere behind me, what's the greatest thing in the world? Um, could kiss? She responds. For a moment I don't acknowledge what just happened, until the solo came in. It's a rather simple solo, so I was able to rest my plucking hand and just tap that shit out. I didn't consider this some brave feat, until Rocky looked at me with the excise and expressed his envy and considerable impression. As I'm tapping that solo out, my newly freed hand reaches into my pocket, and pulls out its contents. As it happens, it's a small package of Oreo cookies. I throw this package behind my shoulder to my sister, to the utter amazement of the group. Since that day, my friends regard me with a suspicion and mistrust you a wizard. At a friend's party, and everyone is having a good time, I'm practicing through the fire and flames on expert on Guitar Hero. No one is paying attention to me, 
but someone calls my name from the adjacent room, Solo is playing, but I practice this song twice a day, I go into the kitchen to see who called my name, my friend was just wondering where I was, but I hear behind me, who the duck is playing Guitar Hero? I walk back into the room with everyone staring at me, because I only missed one note for the whole 20 seconds of the solo I was gone for. Didn't think I had memorized it. Cook dropped a plate of food, and I managed to catch it before it hit the ground without a single piece of food falling from the plate. Graceful like a swan, mother ducker. I'm the mama of a toddler, 3 year old, and anybody with kids can tell you that this will hone your reflexes to a sharp point. I can catch dropped objects in an instant, without looking, much like Jolly in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This is only particularly impressive when the dropped object is a full drink, but whatever. I'm also an expert at dodging thrown objects, and navigating Lego strewn rooms with amazing speed and agility. Oh, and the whole, mom has eyes in the back of her head thing? It's because you learn to hear that shit. I can hear the snack container in the pantry being opened from the laundry room with the washer and dryer running, don't even try it. I feel like this has got to be pretty common, but I always try to guess where the train doors are going to stop, or subway or similar railed vehicle. I'll pick a spot and stand next to the platform edge, and when the train comes whooshing up, everyone does that slow shuffle towards where it looks like the nearest door will stop. When it works. I end up with a sudden crowd around me, and the center of the doors right in front of me. Without moving a muscle. I doubt anyone notices or cares, but I take significant satisfaction in it. When my son was about 8 months old, I Jedi mind tricked him to sleep. It was about 2.30 in the morning, and he was very angry and very tired. I said, Noah, it's time you went to sleep, and waved my hand in front of his face. As soon as my hand went over his face, he was asleep. It was amazing, but my wife didn't believe me when I told her the next morning. I did this to my boy all the time. It's about them being tired, but not really closing their eyes. He flinched when you passed your hands in front of his face. He probably closed his eyes a bit longer than a blink, and it felt good because he was tired. So he kept them closed and fell asleep. Now my two month old daughter is just a punk and doesn't sleep at all. She has her nights and days confused. On the tennis court. I'm about three courts away from the basket of tennis balls, when I take a ball out, say loudly to my friend, and now, I will take this ball, and I will serve it into the basket. I toss a ball up and hit in the general direction of the basket. Shit goes straight into the basket like a guided missile. The look on his face as I was elevated to godlike status was amazing. We were jumping around a little after that. I stare at traffic and say, start moving, now. It hasn't worked yet. My day will come. You can tell when a red light is about to turn green by looking at the don't walk light lateral to it, it begins to flash right before the light changes. When I would be at a red light when my kids were little, I'd hold my hands out, and say, green and it would turn. They thought I was a god. Now they roll their eyes at me. I was telling a story to some friends, and another friend wanted me to shut up, so he threw a closed Swiss army knife at my head from a direction I wasn't looking. Right at that moment I was moving my hand in the these are not the droids motion, and I blocked it. I didn't even slow down the story, I finished it and just looked at him. Would have been cooler if it had been an open Swiss army knife and you caught it midair. Then started using it to peel an apple or something, I dunno. Definitely not best, but worst. Still, Jedi. So, I was hanging with a new friend, I was a freshman in high school, that I had just met that semester. She was funny, cute, happy. Well, one day we're over at a friend's house jumping on his trampoline, when we go in for some lemonade. We're sitting around laughing and she gets a phone call. We hush up so she can hear. Her face goes from a chill happiness to a straight face. She hangs up the phone. I look at her, and I say, what's the matter, grandma die? She couldn't hold it in, tears burst, and she booked it out of the room. Her grandma had just died, and I made a Jedi joke about it. I used to work for adopt a pet, as one of those annoying guys you hate collecting money for the shelter on street corners. 
We always work with partners, or in threes or fours covering all the parts of the intersection. And one day when the work day ended and we were headed back to the van to head back home, I legitimately just felt something off, and I grabbed the girl I was working with when she was about to cross the street, in a crosswalk with the sign reading walk and the light red. Just then around the corner sped an SUV and several police cruisers that would have murdered her. She was quite grateful. Was driving in the car listening to XM radio, told my friend what the next song was gonna be, and it came on was pretty shocked myself. Stuff like this can be put down to subconsciousness. The radio presenter could have said, get ready to turn your radio up because we're going to have some ACDC right after the news. Then the news comes on for 5 minutes, and you subconsciously remember ACDC is about to come on. The weird ones are when you're humming some queen, turn on your car, and the radio picks up the song right where you were. It's because we can pick up radio signals in our heads, that's how the government controls you, a just tin foil hat. The summer I was 18, I was a lifeguard at a swimming pool. One day me and my colleagues get wind that some 41 would be performing in a nearby city. I was an avid fan at the time, and so made up my mind to go. Little did I know, two of the girls I worked with were also fans, and managed to book off the date. We didn't have a lot of staff. And so, because they booked off before me, their request was accepted, mine wasn't. A few weeks go by, the day before the concert, the girls thought it would be in good taste to come tease me about it. Ha ha ha. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Shit like that. I was annoyed, but a good enough sport not to take it to heart, so I answered, you're going to get there, and they won't even play, something terrible is going to happen. Just to rain on their parade. Sure enough, some 41 cancelled their performance due to the lead singer injuring his back. Next time we all worked together, it was as if I was personally responsible for the accident. TLER, I accidentally cursed some 41.